And Emmanuel Macron says that France was underprepared before the coronavirus pandemic hit. The admission came as the country extended its lockdown with a gradual reopening now planned from May 11th. In a televised address, the French president also said that by that date, the country will be able to test all patients with symptoms. C'est durant cette période le seul moyen d'agir efficacement. During this period, the only way is to act efficiently to halt the spread of the virus. May 11th will only be possible if we continue to do our civic duty, act responsibly and respect the rules. The vice chairman of the Fed says the central bank can keep the U.S. out of a deflationary trap. In an exclusive interview, Richard Clarida says the Federal Reserve will use tools until it's confident the economy has recovered from the coronavirus shock. Almost 17 million people have filed for unemployment benefits in the U.S. in the last three weeks. Bernie Sanders has endorsed Joe Biden for U.S. president in an effort to persuade his loyal supporters to back the presumptive Democratic nominee. Senator Sanders has called on Americans of all political affiliations to work to defeat President Donald Trump. The timing of the announcement was a surprise, coming less than a week after Sanders dropped out of the race. China's trade performed better than expected last month. Both exports and imports declined less than expected in March, even as the coronavirus prompted business shutdowns around the world. Outbound shipments declined 3.5% from a year earlier, while imports rose more than 2%. Despite China returning to normal work, many companies are still not running at full capacity. Global News, 24 hours a day, on air and at Quick Take by Bloomberg, powered by more than 2,700 journalists and analysts in more than 120 countries.